what teachers make by Taylor Mali. He says, The problem with the teachers is, what's a kid going to learn? From someone who decided his best option in life was to become a teacher. He reminds the other dinner guests that it's also true what they say about teachers. Those who can, do. Those who can't, teach. I decided to bite my tongue instead of his and resist the temptation to remind the other dinner guests that it's also true what they say about lawyers. But because we're eating after all, and it's a polite conversation. I mean, you're a teacher, Taylor. Be honest, what do you make? And I wish she hadn't done that. Asked me to be honest. And you see, I have this policy of honesty. If you ask for it, then I have to let you have it. You want to know what I make? I make kids work harder than they ever thought they could. I can make a C feel like a Congressional Medal of Honor and an A feel like a slap in the face. How dare you waste my time with anything less than your very best. I make kids sit through 40 minutes of class in absolute silence. No, you may not work in groups. No, you may not ask a question. Why won't I let you go to the bathroom? Because you're bored. And you really don't have to, do you? I make parents tremble in fear when I call home. Hi, this is Miss Mali. Actually, I had to talk to you about something a child said to the greatest bully in our grade today. He said, please leave the kid alone. I still cry sometimes, don't you? I think it's no big deal. And that was the noblest act of courage I have ever seen before. I make parents see their kids for who they are and who they can be. You want to know what I make? I make kids wonder. I make them question. I make them criticize. I make them apologize and mean it. I make them write. I make them read, read, read and spell definitely beautiful, definitely beautiful, definitely beautiful. Over and over again, until they'll never miss the light of those words again. I make kids understand that if you've got this, then you need to follow this. And if someone ever tries to judge you by what you make, you give them this. Here, let me break it down for you. So you know what I say is true. Teachers make a goddamn difference. Now, what about you? Thank you. Don't give up. Don't give in. There is always an answer to everything. This, my friend, is for you. The trials that you face and the dreams that you chase. You're behind in your race and you're straying from your pace. And your mind is scattered all over the place. And you're desperate for space. Little did he know it's your time to embrace. Don't give up. Don't give in. There is always an answer to everything. You know, we tend to hide what's inside and waste time on what could have been yet. Isn't the key to believe in our own identity? Your past brought you here. This is where it all begins. Don't give up. Don't give in. There is always an answer to everything. So don't sit hour after hour while your tribulations tower. Don't forget the countless blessings. Ever rich you have been showered? Find your strengths and your powers to rise above the cowards. Be like the flowers that give off its scent when it's crushed and devoured. Don't give up. Don't give in. There is always an answer to everything. And I found myself running from calamity, insanity to sanity. This is the reality that we forget. Who created us and molded us and made us human beings with the details and fashions of DNA and genes. Don't give up. Don't give in. 
there is always an answer to everything. And yes, life can be quite a mystery. And the key to success doesn't come free. And if you think this is all degree, then what will be, will be. But your efforts won't be fruitless. Don't ever think you're useless. We all serve a purpose. So please don't feel hopeless. Don't give up. Don't give in. There is always an answer to everything. And no, you're not just another number to be disposed of after. You're a father, mother, sister, brother, friend, and a lover. To be true to yourself is worth the struggles, although the critics make you suffer. Trees lose their leaves only to blossom by the summer. Don't give up. Don't give in. There is always an answer to everything. So repel negativity with positivity and watch life bring every single possibility. Have an attitude for gratitude. And if you want to be happy, that's exactly what you're meant to do. Don't give up. Don't give in. There is always an answer to everything. Thank you. The animal I really dig, above all others, is the pig. Pigs are noble, courteous, and clever. However, to break this rule, one meets a pig who is a fool. What, for example, would you say if strolling through the woods one day, right there in front of you, you saw a little pig who would build his house of straw? The wolf who saw it licked his lips and said, That pig has had his chips. Little pig, let me come in. No, no, by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The little pig began to pray, but Wolfie blew his house away. He shouted, bacon, pork and ham, oh what a lucky wolf I am. And though he ate the pig quite fast, he carefully kept the tail till last. The wolf wandered on, trifle bloated. Surprise, for soon he noted, another little house of pigs, and this one had been built of twigs. Little pig, let me come in. No, no, by the hairs in my chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Two juicy little pigs, the wolf cried. But still, I'm not quite satisfied. I know how full my tummy's bulging, but oh, how I adore indulging. So creeping quietly as a mouse, the wolf approached another house. A house which also had inside a little piggy trying to hide. You will not get me, the pig cried. I'll blow you down, the wolf replied. You will need a lot of puff, and I don't think you have got enough. The wolf huffed and puffed and blew and blew, but the house was as good as new. The wolf said, if I can't blow it down, I'll blow it up instead. And then I'll come back in the dead of night and blow it up with dynamite. The pig cried, you brute, I might have known. And then picking up the telephone, he dialed as quickly as he could the number of Red Riding Hood. Hello, who's speaking? Who? Oh, Piggy, how do you do? I need to help, Miss Riding Hood. Please help me. Do you think you're good? I'll try, of course. What's on your mind? Oh, Wolf, I know you have dealt with wolves before, and now I have got one at my door. My darling, my sweet, this is really something up my street. I have just begun to wash my hair, and when it's dry, I'll be right there. A short while later, through the woods came striding brave Miss Riding Hood. The wolf stood there, his eyes ablaze and yellowish like mayonnaise. 
Once more, the maiden's eyelid flickers as she draws the pistol from her knickers. Once more, she hits the vital spot and kills the wolf with a single shot. Pig, peeping through the window, stood and yelled, Well done, Miss Riding Hood. Thank you. <laughs>